Hello everyone, my name is Anatoly and today we are reacting once again to South Park. Today's recommendation is from you guys and it's called The Death Camp of Tolerance. Oh boy, let's see how this goes. Mr. Garrison, some time ago you asked to be promoted from teaching kindergarten back to the third grade. I'm aware of that. I want to come clean with you and tell you that back then some of us were uncomfortable with your sexual preferences. It was wrong of us and I want to make it up to you. I don't think people really fathom the perversities of Mr. Garrison. This man is gonna f*** everything that moves, except for women. <laughs> the position of fourth grade teacher has become available and we'd like to offer you the job. Oh, for real? You're not kidding? We in administration see now that you are an individual with your own preferences and we respect that. Oh, this is all just this is a dream come true. Thank you, Principal Victoria. I'll do a great job. I know you will. First of all, I think there's a difference between being a normal homosexual and a perverted, sick bastard. Second of all, why would you rehire someone based on their sexual preferences? I think my brain is just not progressive enough for this. You're sure this is for real? I mean, I'm not gonna just get fired again for being gay tomorrow. It's for real, Mr. Garrison. Oh, great. With all the new laws, we could never fire you for being gay. Now you'd be able to sue us for millions of dollars. Right up. Why would you mention that to such an opportunistic ass as Mr. Garrison? <sighs> what, what was that? Well, I was just saying that the policies have really changed. You know, if we fired you for acting gay next time, you'd be able to sue the school district for lots of money. Oh, right, right, right. right. How, how much money exactly? Oh, well, there was the case out of Minnesota where the guy was awarded 25 million, I think. 25 million? At this point, I think Mr. Garrison is gonna be able to buy all the dildos of this world. Every color, every shape, every flavor. Y you don't say. Well, thanks, uh, Principal Victoria. Holy moly, I've gotta find a way to get fired for being gay. If there's a breach like this, everyone's gonna use it. Everyone's gonna exploit it. Hey kids, I know the past few weeks have been really hard with the death of your teacher, Miss Chokes on Dick. Chokes on Dick died? I think we have some things to catch up with. Also, the kids don't give a fuck. <laughs> Please recommend the episode where Chokes on Dick passes away. So I want you all to give your best behavior to your new fourth grade teacher, Mr. Garrison. I found a new teacher's assistant. Say hello to Mr. Slave. <laughs> I am still absolutely sure that Mr. Slave is less perverted than Mr. Garrison. Hi, kids. Hmm. <laughs> His so voice. that's Mr. Slave, the teacher's assistant, or as I like to write for short, the teacher's ass. <laughs> What have AIDS done to Freddie Mercury? Jesus Christ. Okay, Mr. Slave, go sit until I need you. Oh! I think that Mr. Slave guy might be a Pakistani. <laughs> <laughs> Looks more Indian to me. I'm not saying the rest of the school year is going to be easy. In fact, it's going to be long and hard. Really long and really hard. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> the first thing we're gonna be learning about is communist Russia. No, Kenny. What are you doing, Kenny? Now, Stalin was a big silly when it came Kenny, to... Kenny, no! Don't Kenny? do it, Kenny! Eric, did you just throw a paper airplane? I think I might have missed a lot of things. Why is Cartman talking to Kenny when he's not in the room? Context, please? No, it was Kenny! Very funny, Eric. Kenny's dead. Yeah, but Cartman drank Kenny's remains and now Kenny's soul is trapped in Cartman's body. When did that happen? <laughs> yeah! That does it. I will not put up with foolishness in my class. It's time for punishment. Take it, Mr. Slave. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I just love how there's a bust of Mozart there while Mr. Slave is being pounded by Mr. Garrison. Very exquisite. A tomfoolery uh, in my classroom, uh, children. Mr. Slave, put this rubber ball in your mouth. Take that, slave. You take it. This should get me fired for sure. Okay, let me invoke my South Park logic mechanisms. Mr. Garrison is not gonna get fired for this. <laughs> oh, hi, 
Hi, boys. How was school? Uh, not cool. That's great. We're having our Book of the Month Club meeting, so why don't you boys go outside and play? Was it me, or did you all think that Nancy Drew solved the riddle of Elephant Mountain a little too easily? Oh, yeah. 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 Well, yeah. No, no, he said not cool. We got our new teacher today. It's it's Mr. Garrison, our old third grade teacher. Uh-huh. Well, he has this new teacher's assistant, and, and they're both totally gay. Kyle, you know better than to discriminate against homosexuals. So, I can call myself a homosexual, go to the South Park school, pound a man in front of the kids, and the South Park parents are still gonna defend me. <laughs> yeah, but these guys are really super gay. Well, I'm surprised at you, Stanley. I really thought you knew how to accept people for who they were. Yeah, but Dad... No but, Stanley. We're not raising our kids to be discriminators. That's right. I think it's time you kids took a little trip to the Museum of Tolerance. Museum of Tolerance? Didn't the parents of South Park have a big issue with Big Gay Al being the scout leader of their kids, like, a season ago? <laughs> Let's begin our tour with a walk through our Tunnel of Prejudice to show you what it can feel like to be discriminated against. Queer! <laughs> Boehner! Shink! <laughs> 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 Is this Disneyland? I would love this ride. <laughs> Cracker! Of now you know how it feels. I wanna ride again, I wanna ride again! <laughs> I think as a kid, if I went through this tunnel, I would lose my shit laughing. <laughs> Here we see a black person eating chicken and watermelon, a stereotype that hurts the African American community. What other stereotypes do you see here? Ah, oh, here's the Arab as a terrorist. <laughs> now I'm genuinely interested if they're gonna show you Moldovan stealing bicycles. You see, you cannot make fun of African Americans or Muslims, but you can make fun of Moldovans because no one cares about them, <laughs> which I love. That's right, but of course we know that not all Arabs are terrorists, don't we, kids? Well, there's an Asian man with a calculator. That's right. Not all stereotypes are negative, but even a positive one. South Park certainly knew what they were doing when they were drawing this. One like, all Asians are good at math, is harmful to society. Look, a covetous Jew! Very good, young man. <laughs> the idea that Jews are only interested in money is very old indeed. Ah, here's a good one. It's the stereotypical sleepy Mexican. Whoa, what? <laughs> You know, if I were a bad, intolerant person, I would have made the joke that this could have happened to any statue here, but I'm not gonna do this. I'm not gonna do this because I'm a good man. Tolerant, good man. Oh, I'm sorry, I thought you were a wax sculpture. No, man, I'm the janitor. I'm supposed to be cleaning, but I'm so tired. Oh, I'm <laughs> This is our discovery wing. Take your time at the computer displays because, you see, being tolerant, you must also learn to respect people who are small, people who are disabled, even people who are overweight, like this young man here. Aye. You other boys have probably called this young man names like Tubby or Lard Butt or Fat Tits. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah, I have to remember that. <laughs> yeah, those people, they always single out a group of people that they consider victims. And they're like, please, don't offend them, don't joke about them, it's so wrong! But then they just don't care about the others. <laughs> if you're outside of this group, they don't give a shit. You must learn to be tolerant of his differences as well. If he chooses to eat fatty foods, that's his life choice. I'm not fat, I have a different life choice. And we won't belittle you for eating lots of cookies and cakes and pies. Dude, tolerance kicks ass! <laughs> <laughs> that's our Cartman. Well... So this episode aired after Scott Tenerman must die. What happened that the image of Eric Cartman was rehabilitated in the eyes of the South Park public? Did he cure cancer? Well, that's the end of our tour. Now do you see why tolerance is so important, boys? I guess. We have to accept people for who they are and what they like to do. Hey, what the hell are you doing? Oh, I was just, uh... There's no smoking in the museum! But I'm not in the museum. Get out of here, you filthy smoker! Yeah, dirty lungs! Go ahead and kill yourself, stupid tar breath! Dumbass, get out of here! <laughs> That's exactly what I said previously. Like, they would offend anyone except their beloved group of victims. Well, have a great day, everybody. Now you boys can go and give your teacher and assistant the respect they deserve, right? Yeah. This is so wrong. Hey, okay, children, let's take our seats. Uh, apparently, none of you tried to get me fired yesterday, so I guess we're just gonna have to go on and learn more today. Is he gonna teach them how to cook methamphetamine? 
Although I think in this case that might be the best scenario. Now who can tell me what happens to water when we heat it up in the Bunsen burner? It evaporates. Good butters. Now if we take the glass tube of the Bunsen burner, we can also see how other things react. Evaporation is I don't like an exothermic where this is going. reaction. So let's look at an endothermic one. Mr. Slave, position seven, please. Now I'm gonna put the glass tube under Mr. Slave's tight ass. <laughs> position seven? They have a curriculum of sexual positions? Slaves ass will uh, act as our new conductor of energy. Uh, uh, okay, now Butters, could you bring over Lemmy Winks for me, please? Sure. No, 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 no. I don't want to see that poor rat enter the rectum of Mr. Slave. I know it's wide. I know it's wide and it's spacious and would be like a good commodity for this little fella, but I don't want to see a rat enter a man's rectum today. Maybe tomorrow. Today not. Thank you. Oh, no, 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 no. Newton was the first to discover that for every action there is a reaction. Thank you, Butters. Now, what do you think is going to happen when I introduce the element of the gerbil to the endothermic heat of Mr. Slave's ass? <laughs> well, let's see. Oh. Oh. At this point, I shouldn't be so surprised with those things, but... Hey, I still... Feel uncomfortable from seeing a man's rectum being penetrated by a rat, but maybe I'm just special or something. Uh. <laughs> Is this the outcome of the preparation experiment that they've done before class? Ah! Uh. Jesus! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Wait, wait, wait. No! Mr. Garrison has this new assistant, and we're really uncomfortable around them. Children. A lot of times, the reason people get uncomfortable around gay people is that they have some issues themselves. You have to ask yourself, what is it about their behavior that for some reason makes me uncomfortable? Um, maybe the fact that he puts a rat inside the ass of his assistant, of his slave assistant. No, but I see how that could be normal. Hmm. Well, I guess it's mostly the way Mr. Garrison stuck a gerbil at Mr. Slave's ass. <laughs> And you see, children, that's why you need to... Whoa! What? Are we homophobes now? We don't want to be gay bashers, chef. Children, there's a big <laughs> difference between gay people and Mr. Garrison. Do you exactly. I think that normal homosexuals should get those perverted people and kick them out of the community. Because associating yourself with them doesn't do any good to your public image. Do you understand that? No. You children just take your lunches. I'm going to have a talk with the principal. I'll take three lunches today, please. You don't need three lunches, Eric. You're fat enough as it is. It is my life choice, sure. Chef, and if you don't tolerate it, I'll report you to the SEC. <laughs> Something tells me that they're going to fire Chef. Something tells me. Mr. Garrison, to the principal's office, please. That's it. They're going to fire me for being gay. 25 million, here we come. Don't forget I get half. Ooh. Ooh, Jesus Christ. Is this some sort of a quest? Is this how playing Skyrim feels? Uh, any any Skyrim enjoyers in the commentary? This way has been closed off by the great sphincter. To escape, you must journey upward through the dark reaches of the intestine and past the stomach. Who am I? Just a friend. Heed my words, Lemmy Rinks. Your time is running out. Make for the large intestine. All will be made clear then. So the ultimate goal of this journey is to be vomited by Mr. Slave? <laughs> A great adventure is waiting for you ahead. Hurry onward, Lemmy Winks, or you will soon be dead. The journey before you may be long and filled with woe, but you must escape the gay man's ass so your tale can be told. Mr. Garrison, Chef has brought it to my attention that some of students are a bit uncomfortable about certain aspects of your teaching methods. Oh no, you're firing me? Somewhat uncomfortable. Okay. Okay. Oh well, I can't stop being who I am. I can't help the way God made me. Guess I just have to go. No, 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 we're not firing you. You're not? No, we're sending Chef to a tolerance seminar. 
sending chef to a tolerance seminar, you got to be <laughs> crazy. You've demonstrated a lack of tolerance for Mr. Garrison's behavior. In fact, I believe you used the words sick queer to describe his conduct in class. Because he is a sick queer. And this aired 20 years ago. What prophetical qualities do the South Park creators possess? <laughs> this is this is incredible. Parents, I had to call you in here because your boys have refused to attend class with their homosexual teachers, okay? We're not staying in class another minute with those queermos. Well, I really thought you boys learned something in the Museum of Tolerance, but apparently all you learned was new words to call your poor teachers. But they killed lemmywigs! Shut your mouth, butters! You'll speak when spoken to! I think we all saw what Stephen Butters was doing at the White Swallow. I think they should show Fisting Fireman 9 to the kids to educate them more on this homosexual matters. Yes, sir. Mr. Mackey, we've done everything we can to raise compassionate children. We don't know where else to turn. Well, there is an intensive seminar camp. It's a bit severe, but it might be oh, the only way. Okay. The death camp of that tolerance. Good to me. me too. Then it's settled. Boys, you're going to tolerance camp. Tolerance camp? <laughs> The Vincent's tolerance <laughs> So they wanted something that would sound like Auschwitz. Nice. Also the black and white picture. I already love it. Welcome to Tolerance. <laughs> the Gestapo uniforms. Here you will work every hour of every day until you submit to being tolerant of everybody. Here, intolerance will not be tolerated. Antifa? <laughs> the principal didn't fire you? No! The parents felt so bad that their kids didn't want to attend my class anymore that they want to give me the Courageous Teacher Award this Friday at the Museum <laughs> of Tolerance! I think even if Mr. Slave gets his ass penetrated by the fist of Mr. Garrison in front of kindergartners, the people of South Park would still be okay with it. Because it's very, very progressive. Oh, Jesus Christ. I mean, I stuck a gerbil up your ass and they want to give me a goddamn medal. Well, it sounds to me like the principal is just hiding things from everybody. What you need to do is let the parents see what kind of demented shit you are. <laughs> <laughs> demented pile of sticks. Incredible. Oh, uh, well, hey, that's right, Mr. Slave. The parents have to see for themselves. The award ceremony. Well, we'll put on a show they'll never forget! The parents are not gonna give any damn, something tells me. Lemmy Wings journeyed a distance far and fast To find his way out of a gay man's ass The road ahead is filled <laughs> with danger sorry. and fright But push onward, Lemmy Wings, with all of your might You know, I just thought to myself that this is a very good way of teaching kids human anatomy. Still a lot of ground across inside the man so gay <laughs> Ahead of you lies adventure, and your strength still lies within. Freedom from the ass of doom is the treasure you will win. Freedom from the ass of doom is the treasure you will win. Lyrical geniuses. <laughs> Today we will be using the finger paints. You will make a painting that shows people of different races and sexual orientations getting along. Finger paint! <laughs> finger paint! What are you finger painting? Uh, a bear? I bear? Oh, bear has nothing to do with accepting people of different races! I, I didn't know what else to paint! Start over! You will finger paint what we tell you! Go! If you want to be diverse, you have to be diverse in our way. <laughs> Poor kids. Poor kids. Faster. Faster. Faster! <laughs> You know what? This is what they deserve for being intolerant kids. Maybe think twice next time. Faster! Are you done? What is it? What have you done? People of all colors are greens holding hands beneath a rainbow! Good! That wasn't so hard, was it? Now do it again! Faster! Faster! <laughs> you finished your costume design yet? Almost. I just have to get through with the... Oh, Jesus Christ. What's the matter? Just a bit of an upset stomach, I guess. I just love how Mr. Slay thinks that a rat entering his asshole and not exiting it for a couple of hours is something normal. <laughs> just an upset stomach. Nothing serious. 
Lemmy Rings came to the stomach dark. Beneath the depths of the lungs and heart. You chose your path wisely, Lemmy Winks. I am the Katata fish. The pre Western fight music. It, it's just great. It's great. It's amazing. Katata fish of the stomach's cold. If you answer this riddle, the esophagus will let you pass. Katata fish's riddle will soon be told. <laughs> You have to keep making your macaroni pictures. Can't glue anymore. <laughs> the guards are coming, Kyle. Glue, glue, damn you! Take this one away. Here's the they replaced David Star with a capital T. Time to leave. Hmm. One for butters. Never. Arts and crafts. Oh Jesus! We have to get out of here. What? What? Oh, uh, nothing. I was just getting back to work. What is in there? Nothing. Get back to work. Yes, sir. This reference to German concentration camps just keeps getting more intense. I'm scared. Ah. Phew. <laughs> <laughs> Even in conditions like this, he finds a way to be an asshole to people. Cardman. <laughs> hey, I was just kidding. There's actually two girls hiding down there. <laughs> if the toilet door opens and you see Cartman's face, get the hell out of there. Run. Tonight, we are here to honor an amazing fourth grade teacher with the Courageous Teacher Award. Herbert Garrison came out about two years ago. Since then, he has faced adversity. He has even faced ridicule by some of his students. Oh, Randy, I'm so ashamed of our son. Such a deep tragedy. Incredible. It is my honor to present the Courageous Teacher Award to Herbert Garrison. Down, they're 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 down. Get along, little slave. Oh, my God. That's what our boys were talking about? Ding 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 ding! <laughs> he is so courageous. Stunning and brave. Stunning and brave. Say, Mr. Slay! <gasps> <gasps> he has a fing strap on attached! Ah! Mr. Slave Loki looks like a Roman emperor, not gonna lie. Yes, Mr. Garrison? I had a dream last night that you were a real dick. Really? Why would you dream that I was being an asshole? No, no. I was the asshole. Oh, that is so courageous. What an amazing human being. <laughs> Garrison is such a nice drag queen. I think he should perform at kids' uh, birthdays. Uh, I, I, I'm very happy to get this award, but you know what makes me even happier? Sucking balls. <laughs> 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 Sing your song, Mr. Slave. I've got a little. Oh, oh. Right. <laughs> Sucking balls. It takes a lot of courage. What's happening in there? Hang on, Lemmy Wings. You solved the Katata Fish's riddle. Now your trials are nearly through. Oh, I should have never shoved all those poor animals up my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, 2023. God damn it, don't you people get it? I'm trying to get fired here. Huh? Oh, that's courageous. Look, this kind of behavior should not be acceptable from a teacher. Yeah, Jesus Christ. But the museum tells us to be tolerant. <laughs> yes, the museum. The museum tells us. The museum. Let's celebrate and suck some dick. Tolerate means you're just putting up with it. You tolerate a crying child sitting next to you on the airplane or, or you tolerate a bad cold. It can still piss you off. Jesus, tap dancing Christ. Thank you, Mr. Garrison, wearing a strap on. Nice speech. <laughs> He's right. Our boys didn't hate homosexuals. They just hated the way this asshole was acting. 
We've got to get our boys back. <sighs> so now can I please get fired and get my $25 million? <laughs> no, no, I think I have a better idea. We're sorry, boys. Why didn't you tell us your team's record? <laughs> <laughs> now they are little tolerant zombies from all the possible perspectives. <laughs> but Cartman is still fat. <laughs> so over the top yes you boys don't know how much we've suffered come on let's go <laughs> and they don't say anything it's just a close shot of their empty eyes i assure you the next week will be nothing but pain and suffering Ooh, this could be kind of fun <laughs> <laughs> lemmy winks has made it out the tail is nearly through great job lemmy winks Thanks to you, we are all free. But your adventures are just beginning. For you are no ordinary gerbil, Lemmy Winks. You are the gerbil king. <sighs> Great job, Lemmy Winks. Escaping that gay organism of Mr. Slave, that's... That is quite a task. <laughs> all hail the, the gerbil king. king! Now that you're the gerbil king, there's more adventures to go on. Fly away to faraway lands and to the setting sun. Good ending. Good ending. <laughs> this happens when the fabric of reality gets distorted to such an extent that the people are just sitting there, looking at a guy wearing a dildo, having his slave alongside him, sticking rats in the ass of his slave. And they're all like... <laughs> brave and stunning. Brave and stunning. At this point, it's not even about celebrating someone's sexual orientation, which per se, it's crazy. It's about closing your eyes when it comes to people that have such an outrageous behavior just because they pertain to a group that you think are oppressed. But that was it for today. Thank you for watching this with me. If you have more recommendations like this, please drop them in the comments below. Apart from that, like, subscribe, all the usual stuff. And I'll see you next time. Cut, 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 fish's riddle will soon be told.